Uh, HACT TMA is a very difficult to treat uh, condition and potentially life threatening in this population with many comorbidities. Uh, until uh, the introduction of complement inhibitors, we unfortunately had no specific treatment for this disease. Many center, uh, centers used a plasma exchange that showed no clear advantage. Um, uh, based on data showing that complement plays an important role in the pathophysiology of HSCT TMA, uh, many centers, including ours, have uh, uh, used a collision map uh, as the first in class complement inhibitor uh, to treat these patients. Uh, we have encouraging real world data from both the adult and the pediatric population using uh, a collision map uh, showing a uh, viral survival of approximately 60% in the long term. Uh, and uh, we are very lucky that novel uh, complement inhibitors are also under study for this uh, difficult uh, situation. Narsoblimab, an anti-MASP2 inhibitor, uh, was on one of the first ones showing uh, interesting results in uh, HSCT TMA or TATMA. Other complement inhibitors are also under uh, study. We now have clinical uh, trials uh, using ravulizumab, which is also an RDC5 inhibitor, um, acting uh, acting similarly to aculizumab, but uh, with a longer sustained uh, response to in C5 levels. Uh, also, we do have uh, uh, additional studies ongoing uh, for C3 inhibitors like pexetacoplan. Uh, both revolizumab and pexetacoplan have been approved for the treatment of other complement-mediated disease, uh, the prototype model, which is uh, PNH. And uh, we are eagerly waiting for these uh, results of these uh, clinical trials and for uh, further data from the other molecules. Except for complement inhibitors, the fibrotide is also an interesting uh, therapeutic for uh, HSCT TMA. Uh, unfortunately, we do have uh, rather limited data for the fibrotide, which is a, a, an approved treatment for another endothelial injury syndrome are uh, called VOD or SOS. Uh, so we are uh, very uh, happy and eagerly waiting for the results of all these clinical trials and to show the efficacy and safety of novel treatments in HSCT TMA.